Hi AD, welcome to Sloan House. This 18th century home is eight bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and spans over 20,000 square feet. The Georgian style home offers a classic contemporary style behind a traditional facade. This is the first time we've let cameras into the house. Which is currently listed off market and valued at 170 million pounds. Come on in. So here we are in the foyer where we greet our guests and the first thing you see when you come into the house is this fabulous gold bar. We custom built this gold bar. Obviously it's to entertain and to have lots of parties that we do not have. <laughs> <laughs> I love this chandelier. It's a custom chandelier with 150,000 pieces of crystals going from bronze finishes to gold, which is obviously my favorite color. This panther couch is obviously one of my favorite pieces of the house and the panther is my favorite animal, which shows inspiration throughout the whole house. Welcome to our formal dining room, a room that we actually use a lot. Um, we used a lot through lockdown. And we had fancy dinners in here as a family. It's darker tones in this room, but it's softened by the natural light and the views of the garden. Obviously, the first time you walk in this room, the chandelier is the main showstoppers. And there's lots of elements of Petra in this room, coming from the sparkles in the rug, which then element to the table. One of my favourite parts of this room as a design feature is actually how well we've hidden the radiators, which is with this custom cabinetry that's just around the walls. So this is our main family kitchen where we eat most of our meals at and the kids love mealtime because they're obviously staring at this amazing fish tank. Which is actually one of the rarest in the world. It's one of the largest in a private residence. It's five meters long, there's 64 types of fish. But when designing this kitchen, you wanted separate islands, didn't you? Yeah, there's one island with a teppanyaki grill. The chef is able to cook at and then the other island is where I occasionally cook at. <laughs> the feel of the kitchen, there's a slightly kind of an industrial vibe, obviously, with the panelling on the doors. It has double dishwashers, double sinks, double fridges, freezers, wine coolers, and the appliances throughout are Gagano. There's amazing natural light coming in through the garden into the kitchen. Sloan House actually compromises of two homes, Sloan House and Sloan Lodge. We're now in the lodge side of the home, which has its own entrance, which we would bring guests through for events. This is one of my favorite rooms of the whole house. So the first thing that hits you when you enter this room is this magnificent crystal chandelier, which is 150,000 Swarovski crystals. Behind us, you will see we have our fabulous bar, which is all custom built. And obviously the panther, which features throughout the house, is seen in here as well. There's custom cabinetry throughout the whole room, which gives a very 1920s Gatsby feel to this whole sort of vibe. Welcome to our wellness level. The area sets the tone where you step over the water feature on these stepping stones. Come and have a look around. So when I bought this house, there was no lower level. We excavated the basement and we dug down 15 meters deep to make this hotel and then to type spa into a residential house. I think what's good to know as well, due to permitting laws now in London, you cannot recreate this. So down here we have a 17 meter by nine meter swimming pool, spa, 10 man jacuzzi, steam and sauna, floating day beds. And the bar for parties. So over here we have a gym for the adults and then a really cool area for the children to play at. So we're here now in our gym that has amazing natural light even though we're actually in the basement so it doesn't feel dark and gloomy. I think the one of the great things about this gym is while we work out we've actually got a squash court behind us, which we turned into a kids' play area. So the kids are entertained while we're working out. That's why we turned it into like a soft play, which is obviously very child friendly. To give this perspective in size, I'm six foot four, and this is about the size of a two story house. Also on this level, we have a cinema to show about 12 people. There's a whole candy bar entrance. And the seats actually change and vibrate with the sound of the cinema that's being played.
So this is my beauty salon, the area where I get my glam done. Leading down to the salon area, there's a feature of gold chains, which basically give a glimmer um, of reflection of light throughout the hallway. There's the pedicure station that you can get your hands and feet done, and then the washing up basin, obviously to get your hair done professionally, and then the glam area where you get your makeup done. There's definitely a lighter palette, obviously to give a more feminine touch to the room. In the walls, there's a resin with iridescent effect of sparkles, and then on the doors, we have nude colored lacquer, which features throughout the lower ground levels of the house. So in a house this size, being on six floors, we had to renovate it and add a lift in. So I'll meet you at the top. So we're here at the top of the house now, and one of the most magical features of the house is the beautiful chandelier from the top of the house that goes through all the floors down to the bottom. It's like shattered pieces of diamonds or glass, which obviously there's natural light from the window behind that is then reflected onto the chandelier and it basically just gives off rainbows throughout the house. The chandelier is the centerpiece of the whole house and it's the design ethos that ties it all together to make it become one. So we're here at my daughter's room and clearly she and I are a huge fan of the color pink. It was before a very traditional room which we transformed it to become more modern and it just came to life. And then these chandelier ice cream lights that she actually drew and we got them kind of came to life. We redesigned each room to have the bedroom, the dressing room, and then the bathroom. So the closet panels are nude lacquer, which is kind of feminine, but also neutral with um, leather paneling throughout. We measured all the hanging space and the shoes, obviously for children's clothing, which can be adjusted when they get to a larger size. But for right now, it fits for kind of a younger size up to teenage. The bathroom is uh, pink onyx from ceiling to the floor. Obviously pink is the theme of the room, so we translated it into the bathroom. So this is my boy's room, and the theme behind it was kind of the inside of a rocket spaceship. They're a huge fan of cars, as I am, so we did these light fixtures, which are actually gold Lamborghinis. And then the starlight on the ceilings, they're actually scared of sleeping in the dark, so the light features we leave on at nighttime, so they're not as scared and it kind of twinkles at nighttime. One of the main reasons I fell in love with the home is the natural light that comes in throughout the house from the east and the west side throughout the whole day, which is actually really rare to find in London. So this is our primary bedroom. This was the last bedroom that we redesigned and I worked with a close friend called Gavin Broden. It's definitely got a lighter tone to it than the rest of the house. It's got nude paneling throughout the room, a white onyx fireplace. This bed is eight feet by nine feet. So something you could do more in LA than you can in London, but we managed to do it here. There's two separate dressing rooms, one for Sam and then a larger one for myself, because let's face it, I need more space. <laughs> I think the nice thing is that you don't have to leave the master suite to be able to go to the both dressing rooms and the bathroom. It's all on one floor. As you can see, Mine is very impressive with hidden pocket doors for mirrors, lovely lighting, very soft lighting, and windows either side for natural light. So this is my closet, which is every girl's dream, and it actually is the whole width of the house. It has the most beautiful feminine chandelier in it, and then we're so lucky to have the natural light from the garden coming into the dressing room. For me, this dressing room feels tucked away and definitely is a quieter place throughout the house, and it just has a very calm, peaceful vibe to it. The garden is so quiet and so peaceful, you don't actually feel like you're in central London. It's a proper English garden, which we spend a lot of time in. We've learned how to play football with the children out there. We entertain for parties there. The value is priceless. You can hear the birds chirping. The mature foliage all around us really gives it a sense of privacy. This Georgian mansion has got the biggest garden in Kensington and Chelsea. The columns and the arches were built with the original house, so it gives it a real historic feel to it. I personally love historic homes and obviously I love to collect them and this garden just made it feel truly special and just such a historical magical place.
Thank you for joining us today on this tour of our eight bedroom, 12 bathroom, four half bathrooms, and over 20,000 square feet of living space. You've seen some of our favorite areas of the home. Thank you so much for joining us today on the tour of Sloan House. Thank you, AD. Bye. Bye.